We are in El Centro, California, and we have set up what I think is a really novel monoclonal infusion therapy center. This is in partnership with the local hospital, the El Centro Regional Medical Center, and this is focused on providing something called monoclonal antibodies to patients that have tested positive for COVID-19. I think it's beyond brilliant because we were starting to offer the treatment, but not in an organized, I say this is very organized fashion. This is like when you deploy, you deploy as a team. The team has arrived. We're all of a sudden set up the tent. Very proud of this moment. Very happy with this tent. It's going to be an amazing outcome. And we're going to, once we start this IV, we'll administer our infusion, help the patient get better. If you look at patients who are uh, have COVID-19 and who are very recently infected, so imagine even a few days within the time in which they've been exposed, they become symptomatic with symptoms such as cough and fever. And that is the group in which up till now, until these new therapeutics received authorization, we have had very little to offer. And now, thankfully, we have a lot to offer. And what we have to offer are monoclonal antibody therapies. Those therapies, I view them as a way to give your body a head start on the infection. An antibody is a protein that is made by your body in response to an infection. It helps to, to fight the infection and it literally sticks to the virus and interferes with the virus's um, reproduction. In this case, what these antibodies do is in people who have just been infected, they give them a big blast of antibodies that we know stick to the virus and help to fight it. I'm getting a treatment because I've been diagnosed with COVID. We went in and took an x-ray and took my vitals and I have some inflammation in the lungs and she just decided for me to come in. What do you think? Wonderful. Yeah. Why? Well, because I'm getting treated for something that I didn't ex anticipate getting. So, yeah, I'm very blessed. You've got to do a little bit of research and find out what's going on and what's available. That's, you know, and not to be afraid. I had heard that if you got to treatment early as opposed to later, you're much better off, you know. So I decided I'm here. And I'm so glad you guys are here. My name is Lourdes. I work at El Centro Regional Medical Center. I'm the unit manager for the ER. Both my parents um, got COVID. Both of them had mild symptoms and were referred here to El Centro Regional Medical Center to get the monoclonal antibody. They both received the infusion and quickly um, started to turn around and feel better and didn't have um, any of the symptoms um, worsen. If um, a patient comes in that meets that mild to moderate criteria, receives the antibodies, that prevents them from getting the pneumonia, forgets, prevents them from getting the um, inflammatory response that happens in COVID patients in that risk category. Um, that high risk category, these patients end up in the hospital needing supplemental oxygen and um, worst case need to be on a ventilator. And the impact for the valley is, is, is harsh. I know that we talk a lot about hope not being a strategy, but I know what hope is is beyond the strategy. Hope here is a treatment. Hope here is outcomes. Hope here is actually moving to the next phase. Hope here is getting this community back up and running. So this is, I really believe, a model for the nation, that we have a hospital that is interested in hosting us. Number two, that we have a patient population that is really in need of these therapies. And number three, the lessons that we learn here together, we as the government uh, and them as a hospital system, that we can replicate this throughout the nation, not necessarily relying on federal resources to do it, but we're gonna understand more. How do we do it? How do we get patients safely through this process? How do we have really good follow-up so we understand what these therapies do? Um, I think it's a really important partnership that the nation can learn from. Thank you, DMAT teams. Thank you, NDMS. Thank you, federal government. Thank you, state government. Without you, I could not have been able to serve my community.